Aloha! In this video, I'm going to talk about the research paper, which is the last paper that you will be writing in this course, a little information about research papers. A research paper is an expanded essay that presents your own interpretation or evaluation of an argument. When you write a research paper, you're going to take all of your prior knowledge about a topic, and then you're going to expand that knowledge by conducting research. You will want to survey the field of your topic to find out as much accurate, up-to-date information about your topic as possible. And that will supplement your own opinion or ideas about the topic. For this assignment, we are writing an argumentative research paper. So that means you are going to support your own opinion about your topic, but you're going to use research to further support or show that your opinion is acceptable or believable. You want to use credible information, reliable information, so keep in mind what we discussed in previous lessons about evaluating sources, and make sure that you're using reliable, credible sources. In an argumentative research paper, you want to be sure that you are relying mainly on your own ideas, your own voice, but then you're supplementing your voice and your ideas with information that you found from your research. Please keep in mind that for this assignment, you're going to use the same topic that you used for essay number three, your argumentative essay. So you can actually take your entire paper essay number three, and then just add to it. And I have a separate lesson that talks about how you can expand essay number three into your research paper. So please don't start a whole new paper with a new topic. Take what you have in essay number three and expand that into your research paper. With that in mind, the guidelines are, again, to use MLA format to write six to eight pages. So if you've already written three to four pages for essay number three, you're just going to add, you know, maybe two or three more pages to your research paper, supplementing those ideas with information that you found from your own research. You need to include a minimum of five sources. Of course, these all need to be reliable sources. And one of those sources must be from an academic journal article. You're limited to two interviews, and you want to make sure that the interviewees are subject matter experts in the subject related to your topic. And then you need to include at least one direct quote and or a paraphrase from each of these five sources. And you need to incorporate at least one paraphrase. So, if you remember from a previous lesson, a paraphrase is where you take somebody else's ideas and then you put those ideas into your own words. So you will not use quotation marks, but you will still use an in-text citation to show where the idea that you're paraphrasing is from. And then you'll have that source listed with all of the specific source information in the Works Cited page. And then of course your Works Cited page, which should have those five sources that you quote and or paraphrase within your paper listed. And here's the rubric to review how you're graded on this assignment. If you have any questions about this assignment, you need any help expanding essay number three into your research paper, you need help finding sources or getting started with your research, please let me know. I'm happy to meet with you and to help you. Mahalo.